Y'all done got me all started with this. This idiot. In James chapter 1, the Bible tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. This is where I find Seiko Woods. Unstable. Destructive. Because he lacks wisdom. And I believe the reason that he lacks wisdom is because of the pride and ego that is blinding him from seeing that he is contentious, that he is divisive against brothers and sisters in Christ who disagree with him, and that he is a law unto himself because, to my knowledge and understanding, he has not been a member of a local church since 2019 and has not been a pastor of a church, to my understanding, since 2017. And if I'm wrong in those things, he can correct me and I will, I will stand corrected. But I've been asking, where is he a member of a local church? To no avail. No answer to those questions. So I believe Seiko Woods is unstable in all his ways because he's double-minded. He's destructive in his thinking. And this is why. Let's look at Ruslan. He says all kinds of things about how we should avoid Ruslan. Because he's a traitor to the Christian faith. But then as soon as Ruslan agrees with him, then he wants you to go and watch Ruslan's videos. That's unstable in all his ways because he's double-minded. But you want, you want me to believe that you are about unity, that, that, that you are about the body. Of, you, you want us to believe that. Really? Boy, I tell you, some some people just stuck on stupid. I agree. Ruslan knows that people see him for the fraud he is. Yeah. How? How? I'm just asking you, bro. I mean, I mean, do you, do you really even believe your own self? Because we don't. We don't. Sorry, we 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 don't. You you cannot tell me that you are all about unity when you attack the very people that you claim to represent Ruslan, but then you side, you, you sidestep and you slow drag and you waltz with wolves. So you don't care about unity, dude. You, you don't stop lying. So it really seems that Seiko has this issue with Ruslan being a liar, being someone that's deceptive, being someone that is leading people astray because he will partner up with individuals who are heretics and i don't disagree that we should be cautious and concerned about people who will give heretics a pass however what he says here about attacking the very people that ruslan claims to be on the side of attacking christians this is the same thing Seiko Woods does over and over again. His contentiousness with brothers and sisters in the Christ who disagree with him. He'll say, I'm open to public correction. I'm open to public critique because I'm putting things out in the public. But as soon as someone disagrees with him, so long as the individual is not someone that can benefit his channel in some way, that's my personal opinion. Again, I could be wrong on that. But as we're going to see, he's going to call people out who partner or support Ruslan and say that he's going to mark and avoid them. But yet I've seen some people who have brought Ruslan onto their channel that Seiko would consider a friend and he would just say, well, I disagree with him about that, but I don't see him calling the person out. Let's listen to Seiko say he's going to call people out, his friends, Christians, who support Ruslan. I'm going to make this statement, and here's why I'm serious about this one. I'm, I'm, I'm deathly serious about this. 
if there are any, if there are any of you, any, and I mean any of you, who still follow, support. When I say follow and support, I'm talking about subscribing. I'm talking about supporting financially. Either Marcus Rogers, Ruslan, or Alan Parr. I'm done with you. And then I'm going to mark you as a traitor. Is Seiko Woods the godfather of Christian YouTube? Where he can threaten all of his friends and say, if you support this man, you subscribe to this man, I'm going to mark and avoid you. I'm going to call you out. But as I said, I've seen Ruslan go on another brother's channel, and I've heard Seiko Woods in the comments say he disagrees with him on Ruslan, but I don't see him calling him out. And I ask myself the question, why? Is it because somehow that individual can benefit his channel? Because that individual also has a large subscription or a large following? I don't know. It could be. But this is not the way you treat your brothers and sisters in Christ, giving them ultimatums and threats. Another thing Seiko loves to do is keep receipts. When does loving your brother keep a record of wrongdoings? That's just another thing, just another question I have. Let's listen to some more of what Seiko has to say about Ruslan leading up to the fact that he now tells people to go and watch a couple of these videos from Ruslan because Ruslan again agreed with him. Ruslan, you're a liar. And if this is your pattern of behavior, lying about what the Bible says false teachers are, then my Bible says people like you who are liars, according to Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, you're going to have your part in the lake of fire. See, people like you are liars. People like Alan Parr are cowards and liars. And if you don't repent and stop covering up for these people and expose them as the Bible says where to do, then you're not a Christian. And the lake of fire will be your just dessert, sir. And see, I'm not going to play games with y'all. I'm going to tell you the truth. Paul says, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? So I'm, I'm the basher while you up here causing damage and bleeding the sheep. Now, I would ask you the same question there, Mr. Seiko Woods. Have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? Because I'm willing to take a stand? You once called me a friend. Now you say I'm just a fair weather friend because I disagreed and did a review on an investigation you was doing on Marcus Rogers, whom you had come on your channel. And rather than go after him for the Trinity or go after him for his false teaching when it comes to uh, the works-based salvation, you claimed that, that Alan Parr wasted an hour and however long it was talking about tongues, wasted an opportunity to go after the Trinity or go after something that is more serious. You wasted an opportunity with Marcus Rogers to go after him for his theology when you had him on there because you were so bent on destroying this man who is a false teacher and is going to stand before God already lest he repent. But you were so bent on destroying this man's, this man's personal life, this man's everything about him, not just his doctrine, but his whole everything, that you were so blind that you couldn't even see your own pride. And so have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You're calling Ruslan a liar. So as we will see when you tell us to watch his videos, should we believe you when you tell us that he's a liar? When he lacks discernment? when he's a heretic hugger. All of that, we should not believe him because he's a liar. We should mark and avoid him. But he agrees with you. Now we should listen to him. I have serious issues with anybody that affirms wolves of any kind. I consider those people to be traitors. 
So I don't make no, I make no apologies about that. And he and I can have a conversation about that if if we if he wants to. I doubt it. But he dropped two videos actually um he dropped his video Sunday. I did my video with Julie Royce that Saturday. But I have to admit this. And see, this is this is where balance and maturity comes, ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all are listening to me because some of y'all need to grow up. Some of you need to grow up. You would rather, you would rather cause the body of Christ not to be informed and not to be fed and not to be given truth and information because you have an issue a personal issue with another man or another woman. So you're not really thinking about body life. You're not really thinking about the good of the body. You're only thinking about your personal beef or your personal skirmishes or your personal, you know, issues with with somebody else. And you and you are causing the body of Christ, you're hindering the body of Christ, you're blocking the body of Christ to be blessed and informed by information because you have an issue with somebody else. That's childish. That's immature. That's foolish. And it's not Christ like. Ruslan, the one in the middle is Marcus Rogers. The one on the right is Alan Parr. All three of these men are to be avoided like the plague. And if you still follow these two traitors, I'm done with you. And if I find out that you're following them and supporting them, I'm calling you out. Try me. I'm not playing. When I talk about body life, I mean that. The body is supposed to support each other. When you have foreign objects affecting the body, it's the body's job to defend it from harm. And if you are supporting wolves or heretic huggers, you are a foreign object to the body and you got to be dealt with. Simple as that. So Ruzan dropped two videos regarding Julie Royce and, and John MacArthur. I would encourage you to check them out and watch them. I would. Why? Because of the information. Ruzan, the one in the middle, is Marcus Rogers, the one on the right is Alan Parr. All three of these men are to be avoided like the plague. Do you not see the, the double-mindedness here? The inconsistencies of Seiko Woods? I hope you see it, Seiko. I hope you see this and I hope your blind eyes are open to the truth. Because honestly, you're on a destructive path. You need to be under the authority of a biblical church. You need to be surrounded by the body and do real body life within the, the confines of a local church where you are an actual member being productive in your community within that body, serving one another, loving one another, caring for one another, even when there's tension. Even when there's disagreements, I get it. I get it. There are some bad churches out there. There are some people that are hard to get along with. But based upon the, the contentiousness that I see with you, Seiko, it's quite possible that you are the one that people have a hard time getting along with. And because of your divisiveness and always looking to find fault it's going to be very difficult to go into a local church and be a productive member within that local church and love one another serve, serve one another care for one another if you're always looking for things to nitpick so i would encourage you to get under a local church now, I've had to listen to a lot of your content. And I've been putting this stuff together for a while. 
But the reason I did it is for this one purpose. So that you would recognize the sin in your life. That you are not above reproach. And that you would repent of that. And if you truly are a brother, you would humble yourself. Get into a body of of Christ as a member under the authority of a local church and submit to the elders, submit to the body. That's my prayer for you. And if you don't, Seiko, if you don't heed this warning, not that I'm anybody special. I'm nobody. I'm, I'm a nobody. But if you don't heed this warning, I'm concerned for your soul.